Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. We got creative with our breakfast. We made our way through the city to find the five arches, as well as enjoy the beautiful beautiful blue skies and the National Museum of Madrid to end up being by myself on a Saturday night. I am currently sitting in my hostel room editing a video. Good morning friends. It is Easter Sunday and the streets are much quieter this morning. It's just around 11 o'clock which if I'm correct mass is happening so churches are probably full. People are celebrating Easter. It's just nice be able to walk at your own pace because no one's in front of you. I dressed up for the occasion a little bit. I put on the one dress that I have. It's also just super comfortable to walk around in. So our plan is to go catch a parade of drummers, tumbarinas. We're gonna walk to where they start in hopes to get a coffee and catch them. And if we don't, then we're gonna run to Plaza Mayor and try and catch them there. This is Gran Via, which I shared a couple days ago when it was shoulder to shoulder, feeling very New York like. So, obviously, this Sunday morning it's a little bit more quiet, more tourists, people who are just not attending Mass or recovering from last night because it was noisy last night. During Madrid's Holy Week around Easter, in collaboration with the Madrid City Council, there is a Tamborada Drum Parade. It has been declared Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity by UNESCO, and it's a combination of barrels, drums, bass drums, and kettle drums marching through the streets of Madrid, ending up in Plaza Mayor, where the thunder roll breaks the silence. While I was in Plaza Mayor, the mayor of Madrid was actually there and tons of families, tourists, and people gathering to celebrate Holy Week, but also this tradition that has been through years and years in Madrid. It was pretty cool to capture something that happens only once a year while visiting this city. We waited one hour and 15 minutes for the parade of tambourines to come by. And now I'm just walking in a different area of town that I haven't been before. It's much quiet. It seems like mass or church service may start later. Shocker, everything seems to be later here. The old man's looking at me. So there is a place here in Madrid where you can buy cookies from nuns that have not been to the outside world. Because it's a Sunday and especially because it's Easter Sunday, I haven't been able to find them and I'm pretty sure they're closed. There was a shop offering cookies 
made by the nuns, but nonetheless, this area is a little bit more quiet and beautiful, and I'm just really enjoying some space to bring my anxiety back down after being in that crowd for over an hour. I did meet a really nice family who was a Spanish family, but they had an American as an exchange student for the week, so obviously she spoke English just perfectly, and it was nice just to chat with her. After taking the bus home from Plaza Mayor and the area I was in, I finally ate lunch at the restaurant that was included in my hostel and had an eggplant dish and my first glass of wine in Madrid, surprisingly enough. When I solo travel, I often don't drink a lot just because I'm by myself. And we worked for a few hours inside the hostel, rooftop terrace again, and then we headed for dinner. This evening, I've taken myself to Park El Ritero. I didn't feel, wow, it's zooming in. El Retiro, like retired. I didn't feel this great this afternoon, but I think I'm actually just hungry, so time to eat some food. It's, I think, Central Park, Stanley Park, the big park in Madrid, and lots of people are here just dancing, practicing, walking their dogs, selling balloons. We've got half a baguette to finish off. Maybe we'll finish it off. Glass of my queso and some hummus de calamata, aka olives and a banana, and a drink. Bon appetit. evening in the park by myself there were some things about Spanish culture that I feel like I haven't covered the Spanish people dress a lot better I'm not sure if it's because they think it's still cold out but a lot of them had blouses and pants on even some vests and coats still I think Europeans in general just have better taste in clothes and just look a little bit more classy I've got to step up my game and no one's alone and I know that sounds counter because I'm alone a lot but like everyone's with someone whether it's a partner a friend family People just move in groups and no wonder they go for dinner so late because they all go together and they just have drinks and they just hang out until hours into the night because they're always together with somebody. I wish I could come back with some friends or some people. I haven't made a success finding any friends at my hostel, but that's okay. There's always luck at the next one. This ends my Madrid vlog. So thanks for joining me. Tomorrow's a travel day to Valencia. Until next time, have a great day. <laughs>